जैन यू और आर मोस्ट वेलकम इन माय यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द टॉपिक ऑफ द पॉलिटिकल साइंस द चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स द चैप्टर नेम इज इन्वायरमेंटल एंड नेचुरल रिसोर्स इन दिस चैप्टर दिस इज अ सिंगल वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो वी वुड कम्प्लीट द चैप्टर सो इफ यू नीड ब्रेक यू कैन टेक द ब्रेक एंड लेटर ऑन यू कैन वॉच द वीडियो अगैन ओके and uh, first of all basic thing is that uh, we will discuss whatever the basic conceptual but it has been used in the chapters we will do at uh, one place after that we will go through the complete ncrt book this is a note of complete ncrt book and we will cover the ncrt book first thereafter we will solve the question and answer also so let's move to the topics first first is environment and natural resource if talk about the resource resource is a those thing which fulfill the human needs okay that is a resource now let uh, we are using here conceptual word let's check it first okay now first topic the word we have used in the topic is earth summit earth summit means uh, mainly it is a conference that were held in rio de janeiro the place is in brazil in 1992 the summit was held with the uh, proper vision regarding the various issues in related to environment okay the next is agenda 21 agenda 21 is a also a uh, summit which were used to obtain the sustainability uh, without harming the environment okay next is kyoto protocol Kyoto Protocol is a agreement that were signed with the that were mainly it were targeted for the industrialized country to cut the greenhouse gas emission and the agreement were agreed in 1997 in Kyoto, Japan. It mainly it was a principle there are some principle of UNFCCC. We'll go through the UNFCCC in the later in the chapters. So now the second term it was used in uh, next term used were in. UN app triple C is United Nations framework. Con it is a convention that will be on climate change. The convention will deal with the climate change. Okay, and uh, different responsibilities were given to different different country with a common goal. The goal was same regarding the climate change, and responsibilities were different. Now next is indigenous people. Indigenous peoples are the those peoples who lives. Uh, in a particular region for a long period of time if you need you can write in the, your notebook it is a uh, beneficial for you because we have taken the content from ncrt book so we'll go through the ncrt first let the first topic of the ncrt is environmental concern in global politics means what the uh, concern of environment that is in global politics it means mainly what are the issues that should uh, deal with the global politics now first it has been there are uh, this sorry there have been many environmental issues that were concern of the global politics means there are the so many issues that should be uh, uh, concerning that are the concerning with the global politics first is there is a declining in availability of cultivable land means at the present time the cultivable land is declining day by day because due to the um, environmental reason and a substantial portion of existing uh, agricultural land is losing fertility means those uh, portion at present time it is available for cultivation they are losing the fertility okay these are the changes due to environmental problem now next around 1.2 billion people in the developing countries have no access to safe water and 2.6 billion have no access to sanitation according to human development report what uh, human development report says that human development report says that uh, over the world there are 1.2 billion people in the developing country they have no access of safe water to drink okay and the 22.6 billion have no access to sanitation according to the human development report 2006 now next is 
the loss of bio the biodiversity continues due to the destruction of habitat in an area which are rich in species the act of deforestation take place for personal gain removing the natural inhabitants it means that due to destruction of forest mainly what happens in the forest there are a lot of uh, species lives together that is known as biodiversity and uh, people generally what do they do the deforestation for their personal gain due to deforestation the species got their natural habitat the uh, damaged and they are uh, distinct day by day now then another topic the point is another danger to ecosystem and human health is steadily declining in the total amount of ozone in the earth stratosphere even the coastal water are becoming increasingly uh, polluted due to the land based activities it means that due to declining in ozone layer in earth stratosphere mainly there are the different different layers are here in the atmosphere so in the stratosphere topmost layer here the ozone layer is declining it means if suppose ozone layer would declining the ultraviolet ray may come to reach on the earth so it what it would do it would do the eco danger to ecosystem as well as human health and now again one topics come due to this coastal waters are also polluting due to land based activities land based activities means the activity which taking place on the land like industries and all the wastes are throwing on the directly throwing on the coastal water coastal water are the coastal area region are those a region which are which are which are near the sea no next wait for a time sorry for the late now next uh, point is environmental consequences of economic growth acquired on the increasingly political character from the 1960 on what means the environmental consequences of uh, consequences of going on great economic growth is going from the 1960 means after 1960 the environmental uh, based uh, consequences are appearing in the world means in after 1960 now next uh, the international agencies as we have discussed in the uh, international organization of the chapter and offline classes that international agencies like unep means united nation environmental program that is mainly dealing with the environmental issues over the world okay the main is uh, main uh, responsibility of unep is to dealing with the environmental issue now next point is Earth Summit or Rio Summit was held in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil, nineteen ninety two. If anybody asks you the when the uh, Rio de Janeiro uh, was first uh, summit was held, it was in nineteen ninety two. The main uh, 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 outcome of this summit was to dealing with the climate change. Means it was the basic uh, agenda: climate change, biodiversity, forestry. and list of development practices are there and this is known as agenda 21 now the next topic is protection of global common uh, commons means let go to the topic what are the need is there here commons are the resource shared by the community as whole not individual means commons are those sources which are responsible for whole community not only a single person now the next is in the world there are some areas which are located outside the sovereign jurisdiction of any one state and hence required common governance by the international community uh, community it means that there are some areas or uh, region that is outside of the sovereignty jurisdiction means they are not under the any state or country so 
there are some international agency they are have the common goal to take care of that suppose this is known as global commons means this is known as global commons what does it include example earth atmospheres antarctica regions and the ocean floors and outer space these are comes under the global commons okay you would remember it now the next point is a number of agreement were signed which includes antarctica treaty remember it the date uh, date uh, 1959 the Mon uh, montreal protocol 1987 and the antarctic environmental protocol 1991 if anybody asks you protocol is nothing it is a set of rules means that are the set of rules or norms that every countries have to deal with that rule or obey the rules according to the summit or according to the uh, consequences of that summit now next uh, point the history of outer space as global common shows the management of this area through influence by the north and south inequalities means the due to this the outer space area is shows its management through north and south inequalities it means that there are some inequalities between north and south so uh, we have to deal with this in the global common we will read about the what are the difference between the south and north inequalities some one uh, uh, will discuss it in the chapter okay now common but differential responsibility differential responsibilities means there are such things is common but responsibilities are distributed or there are different distribution responsibilities there uh, there were differences between the countries of the north and south over environmental issue means there are the some country in the north and south they have the different issue on environment okay let's move to the topic the north country wants everyone to be equal responsible for ecological convert conservation means the countries in the north they want that every countries should have the equally responsible uh, risk for ecological conservation means ecology for the ecological conservation every country should have the equal responsible in the developing countries like uh, of the south south believe that the ecological uh, ecological degradation is product uh, product of industrial industrial development undertaken by the developed country but in the country who is in south uh, they believe that the ecological degradation has take because of industrial development uh, which were mainly uh, done in the developed country okay now next point of the topic is in rio uh, summit 1992 it was accepted that special need of the developing countries must be taken in account to development and interpretation of rule international environmental law it means that after the summit rio summit in 1992 uh, there are some expect uh, acceptance by the developing country it must be taken uh, there should be a international law there should be the international environmental law uh, the law related to environment that should be taken by the developing country means there were some rules and regulation for that con developing country so we'll rule in 1992 un app triple c also provide the parties should act on the basis of equalities means all should have some equal responsibilities and equality it was accepted that a large amount of greenhouse gas emission has originated in the developing con developed country as per the capita emission in developing countries as relatively low it means that the uh, mainly different was that uh, in the developed country the per capita income was some high and the uh, in developing country it was low per capita income mainly the income annually and in income throughout the year that is low in comparison to developed country because at the time developed country were full of industries means there were a lot of industries are there they were working for so they were getting more Per, uh, per capita income now next 
but there were certain extension for the uh, sorry there were some extempted from the law that developing countries like india remember it india and china were extempted from the requirement of the kyoto protocol in the kyoto protocol were dealing with the uh, emission of the greenhouse gas to reduce the emission of greenhouse gas it was the main agenda of that uh, protocol so the kyoto protocol is uh, an international organization for the agreement se setting targeted for the industrialized countries to cut their uh, greenhouse gases as we have discussed already means kyoto, kyoto protocol was uh, dealing with the gas uh, gas emission greenhouse gas emission to reduce the gas emission now the next topic of the ncrt is common proper property resource let's what is this inside the topic it represent common property for the group but that mm, with the rule that member of group has both right and duties with respect to nature level of use of given resource it means that under these properties resource properties means all the group of the uh, people have the property but they have equal rights and duties uh, with respect to the nature regarding the different levels of the given resource let's will go first uh, well, but like privatization agriculture inter intensification population growth ecosystem degradation has caused common property to uh, dwindle in the size it means that means there are some issues related to like that privatization means in privatization uh, what happened generally it was the uh, authority was given to produce the good and services with to a particular country only here and in agriculture identification intensification means uh, agriculture related activities and population growth and ecosystem degradation population growth is also here and eco ecosystem degradation is also the, the, the common property under this resource now next india stands on environmental issues it means that what are the uh, what India thinks about the these environmental issues that is taking to place at the present time. India has signed a ratified Kyoto Protocol in 1997 and, uh, in, uh, and in August 2002, developing countries like China and India were extended from the requirement of pro um, protocol as we have already discussed. There are the, some rules where the Kyoto Protocol, but India and China were given some relaxation that at the time the India was and China was a developing country so India had signed in 2002 and uh, in the Kyoto Protocol at the G8 meeting in 2005 India pointed out that per capita emission rate of the developing countries are tiny friction of those in the developed country see this is an important point you may write down in your copy and uh, basically these are all the important we have taken from ncrt book not is fully prepared on ncrt book but you would uh, point out this one india's emission rate but uh, it was a point of india that uh, india produces tiny friction of the emission gas it means india produces zero zero point point uh, in the zero point zero zero one percent emission gas as compared to the developed country or developed uh, world okay now the next point is it was it was in news it was in big news and even the mm, our finance minister also uh, says on the uh, current scenario also that is what uh, and there were some restriction by the world okay now let's move to the next uh, point the indian government is already participated in global uh, effort through a number of programs like energy conservation act 2001 in a, remember this one this is the important and elect electricity act of 2003 and so on there are so many programs launched by the government of india which was dealing with the num program related to environment issue the first program it was his energy conservation act there will in the energy conservation act in the Energy Conservation Act 2011, it is dealing with the effort of uh, dealing with the 
environmental issue and electric electricity act of 2003 and there are so many also and in 1997 a review of implementation of the agreement at the earth summit in rio was undertaken by india means whatever it was uh, decided in undertaken by the, in 2000 sorry uh, 1997 after the implementing this agreement india was also undertaken through the bodies now next point india suggested that the developing country developing countries must get uh, financial sorry remember it, financial resource and clean technology from the developed country in order to meet the un uh, app triple c uh, commitment see remember india suggested that those countries who are developing country they should get the financial resources and clean technology means they should get the latest technology which they were the developing country already were using to meet the unfcc commitment whatever the commitment it was by unfcc that were dealing with the environment so <coughs> they were looking for the financial resource as well as technology they were using was the technology was used by the developed country now next topics of the uh, in book is environmental movement means that what are the movements that were <coughs> taken that were uh, taken for the uh, to save environment some of the most significant response to challenge the environmental see okay uh, um, that the consequent uh, conscientious volunteers working on the different part of the world it means the simple what are the uh, mainly challenges means what are the limitation or challenges for the environmental degradation uh, from the different group of uh, volunteers throughout the world the forest movement see the forest movement in south south in mexico Chile, uh, Chile, brazil malaysia uh, uh, Indonesia, a uh, continent, South Africa, India were forced to enormous pressure regarding the uh, forest clearing. Means there were some forest uh, movement related to uh, that one environmental movements, the like in South, in Mexico, Chile, Brazil, Malaysia, and some Indonesia and some continental country of Africa, and in India were also to enormous pressure to regarding forest uh, uh, forest clearing okay there were some uh, fact related to that now the another example for the group is working against the mineral extraction company as lead to the displacement of the of communities it means that the another example related to the movement is uh, working against the mineral extraction company means there are so many mineral extraction company mainly the process by which mineral is taken out from the earth it uh, uh, earth uh, sorry it taken out from the underground it creates uh, it is also responsible for environmental degradation means it is an example related to the topic another group movement as involved in the struggle against the mega dam in india Narmada Bachao Andolan is one of the best known this movement means this you have already uh, you have might listen the name of the Narmada Bachao Andolan it was uh, the first best and it is a very famous uh, movement regarding the save to save environment okay now next topics of the book is that is resource geopolitics see that what are the resource ge geopolitics we are going to discuss about this topic in detail the first is resource geopolitics means who get what when where and how it is see means resource geopolitics mainly deals with the who is getting and what they are getting and when they would get and where and how means they how the how they are getting the resource and what are they getting the resource and from where they are getting the resource and from when they would get the resource it means that simply i am translated it in, in english now next uh, these are the important topics all topics from ncrt book you go through the topics also and i would request you or suggest you to write down this topic in your uh, notebook because these are very beneficial uh, for writing your answer okay now next is throughout the cold war industrialized country north adopted a number of methods to ensure steady flow of resource the northern country those are industrialized country 
there was some cold war the cold war means uh, the war of uh, simply uh, this is not a war like them. this is only the um, uh, through the conversation they give the challenges to uh, uh, other countries and uh, this is uh, also a you can say this is uh, in hindi we call a sit yud okay uh, if you know otherwise look okay, looked at the next uh, point is north adopted the method to ensure the steady flow of resource in the northern country they got the, the uh, chance to adopt the uh, <coughs> adopt or method to ensure the flow of resource S okay at present time oil countries too must be important source of global strategy uh, strategy see oil country means those countries who have the most of producing oil because at present time most of the countries are depend upon the oil for their energy okay now the next is that th the immense wealth associated with the oil gendered political struggle to control it means uh, those countries who have gendered the political struggles according to getting according to the <coughs> data as for the requirement of oil because oil is a uh, oil is a uh, main source of energy for any countries either to run the com uh, companies or to run the uh, to produce the electricity and the mainly there are some oil countries means dealing with the country that have the rich oil okay now next west asia specifically gulf region con uh, countries about 30% of the global produces uh, oil uh, sorry 30% of the global oil uh, production uh, production means in the gulf country in the west asia uh, mainly in gulf country gulf country means those country who is in gulf they produces 30 percent of oil through uh, over the globe means 30 percent oil is produced by this gulf countries uh, over the world another important resource relevant to global politics is water regional variation and scarcity uh, of fresh water in some part of the world is leading to source of conflict in the 21st century it means that there is also uh, um, scarcity in getting uh, fresh water means scarcity means they have scarcity or uh, they have low level of getting the fresh water in the some part or some countries in the world in the at present time in 21st century okay so these are the important now the next uh, point is the number of studies shows that country that share river and many countries uh, do share rivers and involved in the military conflict with each other see there are the so many countries in the world they have the military conflict due to water means water means they have the river water because some uh, rivers are moving to the next country and some movers are coming to the uh, other country and they, there is a water dispute between the two or three countries and it re it results in the military conflict okay now the next next an important point it is the indigenous peoples and their right means indigenous people and their rights means the what are the indigenous people we have already discussed the people who lives in a certain particular area for a long time and what are their rights what are their rights so let we'll go to the other topics in detail as per the UN, UN United Nations, indigenous population uh, comprise the descendants of the people who habited at present territories, countries at the time when the per, uh, person of the different culture arrived from the other part of the world. Means those people, who, uh, as per the those people who is living in a particular country or region, at because they have as they have arrived or come from the different part they have the different culture but living in a long time they have some right indigenous vo people versus the world politics to treat them equally with the communities means the people who is indigenous they have come from the other uh, places they have they asked to uh, they uh, raise the voice in the world politics that they should treat it as equal with their con community as they are living there the uh, area occupied by the indigenous people include central and south america africa india and uh, southeast asia means the area which are occupied by the uh, indigenous peoples are peoples are is uh, central and s uh, south is uh, south um, america africa and india and southeast asia 
these are the uh, region where the indigenous peoples have occupied on the large scale now that the indigenous people uh, peoples appears to government to come to term with the continuing existence of the indigenous nation as enduring communities with uh, their identity of their own it means that india <laughs> indigenous people generally they ask the government to uh, take in the term to continue the existence of indigenous uh, during the community with the identity of their own means they should uh, they should have their own identity uh, in that country where they are living they raise the voice and they appeal the government to now next in india indigenous people appeals to the scheduled tribe who constitutes nearly 8% of the population of the country see these are important data 8% of the people uh, in our country are what st scheduled tribe so they uh, applied some scheduled tribe constitution in india also in the issue related to right of the indigenous community has been neglected in domestic and international politics for very long time means the uh, in the um, uh, means in this uh, in at national level or in international political level there has been neglected for a long time for a long time they are being neglected for their rights uh, whose rights means indigenous people those who have come from the other countries or another region and living for a long time okay this i think this is the last of the chapters now let we go to the ch uh, chapters at a glance here we'll discuss all the chapters in a single or two pages see uh, whatever we have read till now the all things are written in the short you can go through the topics and you if it is possible you read it and you write down in your copy it would help you to answer the question and uh, in the next video i would upload the answer of this chapter along with this if you have any confusion you may ask in the comment box or uh, if you have any uh, problem related to any term you can ask me i would give you the response over here or uh, you may join our telegram channel there you would get the answer and if you need pdf i would upload the pdf too okay now next uh, chapter at a glance whatever that we have read till now let go through the environmental concern global politics over the fertility of agriculture and the grazing depletion of water resource as well as loss of biodiversity real danger to ecosystem and coastline coastal pol mm, pollution deteriorating the marine environment see mainly the global politics means environmental concern of the global party we are dealing with this one biodiversity ecosystems coastal pol uh, po pollution and uh, deteriorating the marine of environment and uh, it consequences of the uh, environmental consequences of uh, economic growth economic growth and acquired a political shape for from 1960 on what means the after the 1960 the uh, growth uh, the environmental issues and consequences were taken the political shape following a book published in 1972 namely limit to go growth and initiative taken by the united nation environmental program environment program to promote the to promote coordination and effective response on environment at global level okay now next the earth summit held in rio de janeiro a different views political uh, views and global north the first world countries and the global south the third world countries global north was a concern with the issues of uh, environment for oil and uh, ozone depletion and the global warming and global south focused on the economic development and environmental management by the agenda 21 okay see we have already discussed in the our topic so the global commons refers to the what are the global commons means global resource is common with dealing with the region and the government by international communities means there were sub international community were responsible for it like the discovery of ozone hole antarctica earth atmospheres and ocean floor associated with the technology and industrial development we have gone through this topic now next fifth point is this is a uh, next fifth point yes uh, 
let me change the color. Okay. Yes, Rio degradation on Earth 1992 uh, adopted a principle of common but differential responsibilities. And actually, in the Rio uh, 1992 summit, uh, there was a com principle adopted some principles, means set of rules or agenda that were common, but the responsibility was different for all the participating countries or parties in the uh, agreement, the sign in the agreement. The, there were the application and interpretation of environmental laws to protect environment by both developing nation in developing nation in uh, responsible manner. Okay, now next point is in 1992, United Nations French changed the UNFC also uh, emphasized to protect the climate on the basis of equality according to a common but differential responsibility. There were different responsibilities, but the goal was common to all the uh, country under the uh, convention which was taken in 1992 and the example is largest and current goal was greenhouse uh, this is a man uh, environmental concerning and uh, uh, developed in developed nation mainly it is produced in developed the nation where had the large number of industries so they were the developed country and in developing country in india were extreme from the kyoto protocol means there were no restriction on india and china in the Kyoto Protocol, which were held in 1997. Common properties source to group who has both right and duties to respect the nature, level of um, level and use maintenance of the given resource with the mutual understanding and practices. Example is uh, management of scared groves on state or forest land. See, generally common property is linked with the same group of people who have the both the right and duties to uh, save the environment uh, nature and different level of uh, the resource which has present at the time india plays a do dominating role in the environmental issues it signed the rectified india has signed in 1997 on kyoto protocol august uh, which were uh, uh, taken in the 1997 protocol and india signed in 2002 to uh, follow the common and differential responsibility way of indian descent uh, uh, discussion with the UNFCCC and about the introducing binding commitment commitments India participating in global efforts by introducing the nation uh, remember it nation auto fuel policy electric act 2003 national mission on biodiesel and beside this India support the adoption of common shark south uh, SN association for regional corporation there are the countries here so they have also dealing with the worldwide way and uh, no next uh, environmental movement are uh, movement of the group uh, movement of the people or group mainly dealing with the uh, dealing with the environmentally conscious to challenge it. what are the challenges limitation to the degradation of environment and the national or international level new ideas and long term vision they have the long term vision it in mexico brazil china Mal malaysia india and for enormous pressures to save it the environment movement means some environment movement should be there to save the environment and the what are the challenges that uh, degraded the environment now next is environmental movement are categorized forest means environment movement were categorized forest movement movement against mining and mineral industries for Killing uh, water, uh, creating water pollution and anti dam movement. These are the movement related to environment. So remember it. This one the highlighted point. These are the uh, what are the environment movement categories means forest movement and these are the uh, movement that deals with the environment movement. Now next is re uh, resource geopolitics uh, is our to get what when and how means how the country and any region would get the resource and the practice of the neo uh, neo colonialism spread a large scale and throughout the cold war industrialized country adopted the method to <coughs> steady flow of the deployment of the military mm, forces near exploitation sites and level sea level communication these are dealing with the uh, 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 in by the geopolitics a resource uh, through the economical and uh, serving the mainly friendly government. Okay, now next. 
the global economy uh, relied on oil and portable essential fuel and the historical uh, history of the petroleum is the history of war and struggle means the in the global economy the history of petroleum is the history of war and struggle means there, but there are some oil producing countries they have the already rich in oil and there is a war and struggle there is a very struggle to get that one and water is another important resource to global politics regional variation increasing the scarce fresh water may also lead to conflict in the world play politics means in the world they are also playing the political uh, political views on the water there are some treaties related to water indigenous peoples now the next term we have used or we have used uh, read and that chapter bring the uh, issues on environment the people who is indigenous environment resource political uh, sorry politics together and indigenous peoples live on their own social economical economic culture custom in particular area to speak to their own struggle as an struggle agenda and right to have equal status uh, like if you talk about the indian uh, sorry iceland state in ocean and central south african region and on south east asian now the next and the last uh, the synopsis of the chapter is the issues related to right of the common uh, community indigenous community has been neglected in domestic and the international politics for long time in the world and indigenous people were uh, were formed in 1997 which were becoming the first 11 indigenous ngo to consult the un status of un thank you and uh, in the next video we will upload the question answer and i would request you please write down this in your uh, fair notebook because it would help you to write down the ncert question and if you practice whenever you would practice your uh, chapter or the go through your the mm, sample paper notebook it would help you a lot these are the very easy topics so i think you have got it with this in jai hind jai bharat